Jim Rosenthal alongside uh, the outstanding Graham Partridge welcoming you back to Crufts 2023 for Rescue Dog Agility. Now, this is a really important uh, part of the Crufts calendar. This It's a display to highlight the fantastic work and success stories of some of the dog rescue organizations and many agility handlers actually take on rescue dogs and compete very successfully with them as well. It's a fabulous activity to take part in with a dog and if you've got a physically tired dog or a mentally tired dog or a dog who is easier to live with and that makes agility an ideal activity for rescue dogs and encourages a bond the training promotes. So a really important part of the canine world this ground. It is, um, and although this is a fairly light-hearted display uh, and we're going to see an awful lot of fun, but it comes with a really, really important message. And the message to me to start with would be, um, if you're thinking about getting a dog, do your research. Have I got time? Does my family life, you know, really uh, help me or promote getting a dog? Um, it, and if you don't think you can support one or make the time for one, then please don't get one. Again, on a slightly serious note, Snow, Graham, on the back of the pandemic and, and things like that, when a lot of people took in dogs, are we seeing the other side of the coin now where people are finding they haven't actually got that time and that uh, ability to give the, these wonderful dogs care and attention, and that's creating a problem? I think I think we did yes to a certain extent, um, but there are a lot more people working from home now, so that that's beneficial to the dogs as well. So, uh, but so I think what we're going to see now, we're going to see a number of rescue organisations representative. Uh, the first competitor here is uh, Kaz Sanders with Darcy. This is the Collie Cross, and they're representing the Val Grays Border Collie Rescue. Uh, Val Grays Border Collie Rescue was established in 1978. It's a registered society, um, and it's based in Surrey. So no, no times or anything like that in this. It's just a, a great opportunity for these lovely dogs who have been neglected to come here and enjoy their share of the spotlight and enjoy a lot of care and, and warmth as well uh, fr from everyone here at Crufts. We're about to see, uh, just wait and see who is next to appear. Um, and every dog lover, Graham, it must really hurt when you see a dog not being treated and looked after properly. You're, you're, you're absolutely correct, but the important message here that all the dogs we're seeing here today have really fallen on their feet. They yes, really they have. have. They've been taken in by people um, with such a generous nature, um, and they want to try and correct some of the mistakes. Um, that they, they are the. They are the. These are the lucky ones, Jim. This is Mitzi, I'm told. <laughs> but as we, a real contrast this to, to what we're used to seeing on the green color. Mitzi and uh, Sally have a real contrast this because most of the competition that we see, fractions of a second are important and we're looking at, uh, at have they done this? Have they taken that correctly? Oh dear, they've taken the wrong course. Oh dear, they've been eliminated. This is this is just pure, pure fun, pure enjoyment, and really underlining the the recovery to all the dogs, including Mitzi here, Graham. Yes, all dogs need structure in their life, and and, and training them to do something occupies their mind, um, and, and that's fairly evident here. This dog is doing really, really well. Um, so, a lot, a lot of our agility dogs that we see in, in the really competitive um, competitions are rescue dogs. Let's see, and Sally then completing the course. Everybody here is a dog lover, and we can't anticipate um, as the crowd continues to build with so much to look forward to. Um, this is Bear that we're looking at. And Val. Valve Tomlin and um, a Pomeranian, beautiful looking dog. And he's loving this, Jim. He's off. You don't see many great, Poms doing agility, but six. I don't know why. Um, 
he's having a great time I was here. Say, with that A-frame. No, he's doing yeah. really, really well. I love to see uh, different breeds doing agility. Uh, and if you've got a pom and you think, oh, I can't do agility, it's not for me, just look at this little chap. He's having a ball. Well, this one, yeah, and, and showing a, a huge amount of promise as well. Excellent. Happily ever after dog rescue, small and uh, family run firm in the outskirts of Bristol. And uh, both the rescue and sanctuary run by volunteers, Kerry and, uh, and Andrew, really passionate about animals, uh, these, these two, and uh, happily ever after dog rescue out here being represented at Crufts. So just as a little uh, aside to that, Jim, um, they also do quite a lot of good work with rescuing dogs from abroad as well, especially Romania, places like that. Uh, and I should just remind everybody that, uh, and this is not a, really a, a financial plug, but all of these things are charities. So yeah. if, you, if you've got either some time that you can go and help these charities out with or some financial help, I know they would be very, very grateful. They're all on the internet. Just go ahead and use a search engine and put in the names of the rescue organisations yeah. that are represented here today. Not just the three we've got Oh, here. hold on a moment. Pe Peekaboo. Well, Katie knows a thing or two about uh, dogs on my left up here in the commentary position. Said, said uh, a little bit nervous. Well, <laughs> perhaps relieving a few nerves there. Can't. <laughs> oh, he's going to have a go at the other side now, Jim. Can't. There he goes. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> OK. Well, when you've got to go, you've got to go. No, we're not. Uh, there, was, there, was, there was a fear, particularly among our production staff, that he was going to hide below the A-frame. And, uh, well, I, 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 oh, there we go. That's the hat trick. That's the hat trick. Good effort. I think they're also getting a bit concerned about some of the, the cameras we've got down by the tunnels and the microphones as well. But, uh, but on a... On a positive note, what I do like is that she's just letting him uh, have some fun. There's no force or degree of uh, yeah. coercion at all. Uh, he's just having a great time. <laughs> and uh, those of you um, okay, slightly, slightly concerned, everything is being cleaned up and sanitised, etc., etc. But when prepped starts, underneath the older A-frame there by Peekaboo, I feared the worst. Good on you, Peekaboo, <laughs> just have a look round. Mackie. Mackie was um, being advertised along with his brother, uh, 50 pound Sam, the handler of Mackie. Well, sort of follow that, I guess, in some ways. And uh, we have to say happy birthday as well to Sam. What else would you want to be doing on your birthday morning than uh, strutting your stuff on the green carpet at Crufts? Doing very nicely here yeah, as well. Mackie's got Mackie. shooting around. Little Yorkshire Terrier. And um, loves life and uh, loves competing. And uh, well, you never, I don't know, I have a little look at and, and to my eye, Graham, you think that's got a future, that little dog. Yeah, gives him his ball as well. That's what he does this for, the reward of the ball. All done with repetition and reward, all done with kindness, treats. Positive reinforcement, they call it, Jim. We've got your treats out the background, by the way. Amy and Nira. Neva. That is Neva. Just to say, this is a rescue dog agility, in case you're just joining us on YouTube, that sizable Cruft Club that exists uh, on, on YouTube. Grade 7 in agility, this little cockapoo here, so uh, very, very good dog. And this is not a competition, this is a, it's an exhibition, really, for the rescue for dogs who have been rescued 
and are loving every moment of it. it absolutely revitalised. It is. And just as she leaves the arena, I owe Amy a huge apology because last year I called her by the wrong name. So, public apology from Graham. Public apology heard. Well, by millions, Graham. So you can't can't really improve on that. Betty, little toy poodle, and Lindsay, the handler, from Wood Green. Wood Green opened the doors in, in North London back in 1924, transforming pets' lives there and the lives of their owners as well. Humble beginnings, grown into one of the UK's largest pet charities. And it's one of the uh, largest rehoming centres in Europe as well. Well done to everybody at Wood Green. Over 4,000 dogs cared for last year. Now, all dogs need uh, something to do in life. Uh, these dogs uh, are doing agility, but there are a whole host of activities that you can do with your dog. Scent work, you can get, you've got hoopers, working trials, here work to music, uh, rally, and that's just the name but a few. So if, you, nice. if you've got a dog, got a rescue dog, get out and do something with it uh, and keep it uh, keep it amused. This dog's having an absolute great time out there. <laughs> Tunnel? I don't think so. It'll sniff around and uh, in and out of the tunnel. Yeah, good one. All good. Terrier Bilbo is next. Came into Battersea as a puppy, went straight on Foster and found a home with Peter. Lord Bilbo of Berkshire. Berkshire spelt with a, with an A as opposed to an A second visit to Croft, so we're, we're expecting a few uh, sound effects from the Lord. Oh, look, that could be the start of a proper, a real proper agility round, that. Oh, this, is, this is good, this one, Graham. It is, and it could be that these are dogs that compete, compete regularly, um, but they're just strutting their stuff and displaying what you can do with a rescue dog. Cool, look at that. That wouldn't be out of place in, in the highest class of competition, really. Well, there you go. Great variety in this. One entry took a... Took three unscheduled pit stops, and that one just <laughs> zoom round. Fantastic. So this is Sue White next. Uh, no Sue, and she is a regular competitor in agility. Um, yes, all right. Yes, Sue's in a wheelchair, but uh, that's no. That is it. Doesn't bar her from actually doing agility really competitively. This is Lollipop. Corgi Collie, now 13 years old. It's been here on a number of occasions. Um, loves life, lives with 10 other dogs. Yeah, well, Sue uh, just can't resist rescuing dogs that have had a hard luck story. Uh, she's the owner of Whirlwind Agility Club. As I say, got many rescue dogs. Um, but unfortunately, so hopefully they're going to get a real good round of applause. This will be Lollipop's last run in agility. She's putting her paws up, Jim. Deservedly so as well. Excellent combination between Sue and uh, a lollipop. Well, you don't need me to tell you what's going on there, do you? And Sue's just looking at the dog going, really, the main ring at Crofts so on the green carpet. But I've got to get this right. Farewell appearance after many years here. And uh, I guess keen to leave us with something memorable. And we will not forget what Lollipop did as a... Uh, after or just before saying goodbye to Crufts. 
well done there. Well done, Sue. And a nice, nice little bar at the end. It is. <laughs> and, still, and still smiling. She's uh, going to go out and have a good laugh about that. Round the what back. more Let can you do? Yeah, exactly. What more can you do? <laughs> Katie, all right, and uh, Bertie, little cock-up, two-year-old, lovable Bertie, bought to Wood Green at five months old by his breeder, already had mobility issues, was very wobbly and unsteady on his back legs, and Katie, Wood Green staff member, took Bertie on foster with the veterinary team, wondered why uh, Bertie was um, so wonky, as it were, nothing to be concerned about, not in pain, and green light to be rehomed part of the dog house on channel four as well and uh, now wasn't the right match and so stay with katie and it's now his forever homes and quite a few instagram fans around the world as well it is but i don't know whether you uh, you actually saw just now but she's actually got some food in her hand we don't usually encourage that in the agility ring but yeah. it's all about rewarding the dog at the time for doing something good keeping its confidence up and just said yeah you're doing really good and if you do really good you get a treat so that's brilliant yeah brand new to agility is Bertie and uh, well we're entitled to bend those very strict rules in this aren't we yeah well done just two years of age well done Katie there we go Okay, Joe Lyons and Fergus, four-year-old Jack Russell. <laughs> you know a thing or two about these dogs, don't you, Graham? I do, and uh, just to prove you right, he's uh, having a little wander around the arena, just seeing what's going on. <laughs> he wants he wants the toy or the, the treat that uh, obviously his dad's holding here, but no, he says, we're going to do this. Look, there we are, he's got his clenched fist, he's obviously got something in there. <laughs> Fergus, a real character, a bit of a showman, plays to the crowd whenever, whenever he can. Very sick last summer, apparently. Well and truly on the mend and enjoying life again is uh, four-year-old Jack Russell. Fergus. And Fergus. A neat and convincing and confident style when he turns his mind to it. <laughs> there we go. There goes the toy. That's the reward. Brilliant. What a jump that is. <laughs> so we could We've got a selection here. Just and as soon as the jumps are up. One or two little alterations as we as we move up aside to the medium dogs, Lizzie Lang okay, and Yogi. So We've got on the line, waiting just for the jumps to be done. We have Yogi. From again from the happily Lizzie ever after uh, dog breed. rescue. And he is from Happily Dumped in a Ever bin bag, after. would you believe, at the Rescue. side of the road in Rumania, He's this seven one. Years old. Yogi was Lizzie uh, adopted him in 2015. Clever and talented Adam, dog. Had an old cruciate uh, injury as well, so he's now semi-retired from agility, now jumping for fun. Um, and also likes to snuggle up in the duvet at home and... Uh, he has I mean, what a story! What a story that is! He recovered from a bin bag. Yeah. And you can just see, just it's just looking at his handler there. Just handler means the world to him. You can just see that. And on a serious note, again, Jim, just for a second, um, if you're looking to get a dog and you think that you could uh, give a really good home to some of these uh, dogs that have had a bad start in life please go along to your local rescue centre and at least have a look at the dogs and I'm sh I bet you you'll come back well, with one. Well, that's such an achievement for just a street dog. Yeah. Yogi is also qualified that is, for and competing. Oh, we're off. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Why not? But, uh, have you got any food? Are you sure you haven't got any food? Are you sure? Have you got food? No. <laughs> well, listen, what a journey. What a journey from a... Oh. <laughs> Every having fun, enjoying life. 
making the most of things on the green carpet at Croft, hunting out the treats as well. That's what he wanted, yep. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Of Muppet already Our running with Liz, eight years of, old, of age. Muppet. The Shih Tzu Mix, this one. Several homes in Ireland, 11 months old when she arrived and fostered on behalf of the Valkyries Border Collie Rescue by Liz. Couldn't part with her. She Unpredictable, this one. Great character. Tail, Cheeky and naughty. Cheeky, and actually, for those of you with a good memory, this one is the dog in the recent Nintendo Switch Christmas commercial. So, um, used to the bright lights, used to the cameras. This is Polo, handled by Tess, five years training. of age, crossbreed, rescued by Tess, Polo, working hard on training in Wood Green. If you need cheering up in the morning, Jim, sure just well look at that face. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. This Polo, and this one's got a little bit of a, a dramatic background as well, performed on stage at uh, a London theatre for Autism's Got Talent. Polo, Polo helps support her Tess with, with her autism as Polo well. So wonderful, wonderful autism. combination. This, so these two. Oh. Oh, he's run about. oh, look at him. He says, well, I'm, I'm looking Polo. after Polo. Tess as well. Are you okay, Tess? That's a lovely yeah, image. That. Yeah. Tess is fine. And we, and we, we, and we always say. And we always say that uh, uh, the handler's first thought is for the dog. Well, there, Polo's first thought was for the handler. That's the bond between dog and handler for you. What a lovely dog. Lovely dog. Done loads and loads of competitions. And fancy going for the London Theatre. Yeah, total respect, total admiration then for Tess and for Polo in this rescue dog agility. Both supporting each other. Emotional moments out there. Okay, next we have <laughs> oh, a Valgrave dog, Bill Metcalf and Buddy. Now, Buddy is delicious. Buddy is a three year old Australian shepherd. This is absolutely uh, stunning. He's been with Bill since he was just six months old. This is Buddy and Bill, three year old and Australian Buddy shepherd. Been with Bill since six now. months old. But the only just starting uh, his agility career because of the restrictions of COVID. Buddy is Bill's sixth rescue dog. Yeah, I've known Bill for a long, long time. Uh, he's a regular agility competitor. They do fantastic work with these dogs. Um, and and he, he does do, or well, certainly did, agility really seriously, but this is just great fun for him. Loves his loves his dogs, um, and, and this dog, let me know. Well, they've all fallen on their feet, but they, yeah. this dog's having a great time. And again, you sort of look at look at Buddy there and think with a bit more training, which they haven't been able to achieve, who knows who knows how far Bill and Buddy could go. Next dog we have from Wood Green, and it's Brit This is Brit and Whisper, and Whisper six years of age, English, English Springer Spaniel, Spaniel, again from Wood Green. Came to Wood Green at seven months old, got a bit excitable, couldn't get on with the other dogs. Whisper's won a lot of prizes. Now lives happily with her other dogs and uh, takes her own way around the course. And it's probably easier like that, isn't it? I'll take the jumps which I want and. <laughs> But again, proper proper pace. There's a little, there's a little bit of talent in that one. That is for sure. Okay, and absolute enjoyment as that wagging tail 
underlies. Really do. I love to see dogs having fun. Uh, that's what it's all about. Trudy and Indy bought a collie. Indy, five years of age, came in at just 14 weeks of age. Uh, old, uh, to a lot of time well, Grays, because her owner's illness. <laughs> now a permanent home with Trudy. Not the easiest of dogs, needs a lot of patience. Every dog so needs that, of course, as well. But does go to agility classes on a regular basis, so, so they know their way around these two. So just to remind you that we're, we're seeing uh, representations here from Val Grays, Wood Green and uh, Happily Ever After Dog Rescues. There are a lot more other deserving uh, charities out there. So uh, as I say, check the internet uh, and please do support these uh, organisations if you possibly can.